It's a screamer. Right on the surface, yep. About an inch deep, not even that. It's gonna be really close to the surface there. Screamer, you got it. These bugs are horrible, man. Little buggers, little buggers. Another surface. A little bit of can Yeah. Sound kind of junky. It did. I got one over here, dude. Right there. Screamer. <laughs> that is hammering it out. The Simplex Ultra is doing very, very well. It's holding its own, I can tell you that. The first day out in the farm field, it's holding its own big, big time. So with this, this shovel, I can just really pry on it hard. You know, just pop it out. Clomp there. Try it again there. Oh yeah. One of those clumps, maybe. Yep, maybe. Right there. Shotgun head stamp. Yeah. I just turned the Deus 2 on here. Just turned it on. Um, I can say that the the um, deep high conductor program is not compatible with the Simplex Ultra. Just go crazy. Both machines just go super crazy when I put it in that, that program. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm liking it. Junkie. I'll try it. I'll just right here. Dude, that was brutal. Right there. Right there. Right on the surface. Some uh, stainless steel right there. It was right on the surface, dude, baking the sun. Some stainless steel. Away. Yep, it's baking away. I wasn't able to see it. Right there. It's a ring, man. It's a ring, dude. No, I don't think so. So that's the whole thing. That's the whole bad thing about having a shovel and popping it out in one shot there is it stays together in one big clump there. And I want it to kind of fall apart with this big hornet shovel. I can get them out in one shot but um i have to break it up you know i have to break that big clump up after i get done and it's just harder it's just harder ground but i, I can get down to the targets i can get under the targets with the shovel oh yeah Sounds like a good one. Oh yeah. Screamer, dude. There you go. In the plug. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. in a little clump. Yep, it's in there. It's something small, dude. <laughs> Stuff is hard, man. Oh, is it? I found these in this field it's before. A, it's a zipper pull. It's a the front of a zipper pull. A little bit of a shape to it. Yeah. It's the, fr it's the uh, front shield to a zipper pull. When zipper pulls fall and break in half, that's what they look like.
my silencer's at zero here. Sensitive full tones program. Square high tones. Oh yeah, screamer. Junk, it's a big piece of uh, foil or something. Right in the surface, it's overloading on it. Got it. You can see it in there. It's a spoon, right there. It's a spoon handle. I think it's a spoon handle, right there. It's a knife, end of a, bra a copper knife, a brass knife. A blade to a knife. Get some brass. Right on, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Some thin brass there. Right on the surface, too. Nice. Right on the surface. Oh my god. There we go. Right there. Out. Oh no. Pop it. Zipper pull? Yes, it's a zipper pull. <laughs> there, I don't know why, but in this field, farm field, there's so many zipper pulls. Just crazy. Jim found a couple when we were here a couple days ago, too. But we always find zipper pulls and spoons here. Spoons and zipper pulls and buttons. Lots of but war, war buttons. World War II buttons. Coat buttons and whatnot. Great seal buttons. Let me try it. Oh yeah, something small. High higher conductor there. Something small right in the service. It's scrumptious. You got it. Right there. I see something sticking out of there? Some glass. Nail head? It's a nail head? Oh yeah, Whoop. oh yeah. <laughs> the heck just happened to it? There was a nail head. <laughs> a round nail head coming out of there. But there is something on the surface there. That fell out of that plug there. Is it a nail head? Why in the heck is it ringing up like that, dude? That is bizarre, dude. Why in the heck is it? It's, it's not iron, it is brass. It's a little cog to a a, a, a watch. Brass cog to a watch. It looks kind of rusty, but yeah, some junk. Yeah, dude. Call it. Something small. That is for sure. Come on, baby. Come on. I don't know what I'm thinking trying to use my hand digger on this this soil here. Just ain't working. Ain't working, man. What's that? It's something round. It's an old button, dude. Oh, a really old, old button, man. It's a flat button right there, dude. Yeah, dude. Flat button, man. Almost looks like the one that I found the other day in the other farm field. Old flat button. You want to try my shovel? Huh? See how different it is? No. You sure? No. Okay. It looks heavy. It is pretty heavy, but it's so much easier to, to dig holes with. It's a lot heavier. I don't know if it's really worth carrying a big shovel like this around, but 
in these conditions, I think it's just a little, it's helping me a little teeny bit. Not much though. Because it's so long, I have to just kind of drag it, you know. And I can carry it like this, but I'm not ready to dig though. So. Oh yeah. Keeper. A keeper, a keeper, yeah. Keeper. It's not deep, it's right on the surface. Soft. And then I just went. <laughs> Super soft soil, crumbly. It's right on the surface. I think it's in that clump right there. Clump that's sitting on top of the hole there. Yep. Oh yeah. Dropped. Oh no. Very odd. Might be part of a buckle or something. Uh, no. Some copper. It's some copper wire bent. Some copper wire. Awesome. Oh, yeah. oh, a deep one here. Is it a relic? Sounds deep. Can it, could it be? Screaming, dude. It is just slamming that out, dude. This one's deep. A little bigger, maybe. Yeah, it's bigger. It sounds bigger. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> Super deep. 